So in this video, we're going to talk about how do we draw the Lewis structure of beryllium fluoride. All right, so the first thing I like to do is usually count the total number of electrons that I have to place. And from the periodic table, know that beryllium is in the second column. All right, so we know that this is going to give us anything in the second column has a maximum of two valence electrons. We know that fluorine is a halogen, and we know that that or halogens or consist of uh, seven electrons. Now, because we have uh, two fluorine atoms in the formula, we have to multiply by two. So, in other words, we have two times uh, seven, which is 14 from the fluorine, plus two electrons from the bromine, uh, from the beryllium, sorry. And so we have a total of 16 electrons to place. Now, usually, you know that in in general chemistry, most of the times, your central atom is going to be uh, the atom that's first in the formula. Now, this is not always the case. It's just most of the times. Okay? So I usually always start off by uh, starting with single bonds because, again, those are the easiest. Um, you don't typically don't want to start off with double bonds or triple bonds because uh, uh, drawing Lewis structures is like an art. All right? So you always want to start from the bottom before you move up. Now at this point, remember that each single bond is consists of uh, each single bond represents two electrons. In this case, one from the beryllium, one from the fluoride, uh, from the fluorine, and on the right side it should be the same. Now fluorine is one of those atoms that must satisfy the octet rule, and so we know that on and right now we have uh, two pairs of uh, well. Um, prior to me drawing the, the two lone pairs, we would have had. Uh, two maximum two number of electrons around the fluorine and so I could add a maximum of uh, six or uh, three pairs of lone pairs and at this point I've satisfied the octet room on the left side right so two four six eight so fluorine is good on the left side I could also do the same thing on the right side and so let's count up the total number of electrons that we've used the total number of electrons that we've used in the formula must be equal to 16. If it's 17, if it's 18, if it's off by one, greater than one or anything like that, if it's not the exact number, that, that means that we've made a mistake. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And so we know that this is a plausible structure, plausible formula for beryllium fluoride. Now, beryllium is one of those atoms uh, that will never satisfy the octet rule simply because it has only um, uh, two pairs of uh, two pairs of electrons. Right? So for atoms like those, aluminum is one of those atoms as well that will typically never satisfy the octet rule because again, uh, uh, we have a deficient amount of electrons. This is a structure for beryllium fluoride.